Oh my god. I'm fixing it. Okay. Let me source it over. Hi, you guys. It's Elizabeth, the young retiree. And... Oh. And my husband, Gene, has a mouth full of food. I think it made it worse. <coughs> what? Where's that sun coming from? From there. Oh, oh is there we go. We have you on our dashboard right now. As you can see, um, I have a little bit of mud on my face. I have, I have like a mud beard. It's nice. Uh, and Gene has mud all over him. Towards the end of the video, I will uh, pick the phone up and uh, have, uh, show you the mud like on his arms. So, um, we just did rugged main. Oh, here, give me that. Give me what? that. What? Maybe I can put this right here and then this right here. Beautiful. Look at that. You just have to lean in. So, here's the mud on my face. It's a good, uh, it's a good look. I'm thinking of really going with it. Jean, show them your face. Show them your arm. Pick up your arm. Your, uh, the arm that would be easier to... Oh, there you go. You guys, that was after we used a gallon of water to um, rinse off. So, we did the Southern California Rugged Maniac. Today is October 4th or 5th? 5th? 5th. Today is October the 5th, which is my... Fifth day of blogging and vlogging. God, there's like mud. I'm like itchy. <gasps> Sorry. And we just ate Chick-fil-A. I couldn't tell you the last time I had Chick-fil-A. It was good. And I was like, I went through hell and back. <coughs> I'm stopping. There's like dust. It's bad. You got it in your ears? Let me get a close-up on your face, and then you get a close-up on my face. No, your ear. Move. Oh, my. Are you serious? What? Just stand. You see all that mud, like, in his ears and stuff? Do I have any in my... Yeah, I have it on my ear. I have it in your hair. I have it in my hair? Oh, yeah, I do. So, this was my very first time doing a mud obstacle course. Uh, we did the Ridiculous Obstacle Challenge back in May. And that was kind of like, it was a 5K, and it was like wipeout. And so I'd been signing up. Uh, one of my main, uh, uh, at the beginning of the year for my health-wise, I knew I needed to lose weight. And I knew a really good way to do that was to pay every month to do uh, a physical activity. Um, and so like all of the, like when you register for an event, it all goes to charity. So that's good. I wonder if you can write that off on your taxes at the end of the year. Cause you're donating to charities throughout talk, the year. Talk to your accountant. I'm my accountant. We'll talk to your fellow accountants. <laughs> If you're an accountant, let me know if you know if 5Ks count as um, charitable contribution, <laughs> charitable donations. Man, like, I'm going to be so, like, just tore up from the floor up. Oh, my God! <gasps> oh, unreal. Sorry, I don't normally scream like that. So, I kept signing us up for, like, really fun, like, let's wear costumes and run a 5K. And Jean wanted us to do um, the Tough Mudder. And so, we registered for the Tough Mudder. And uh, <clears throat> I had registered for a run with some of my girlfriends called Kiss Me Dirty, which actually got canceled in our area. Um, which worked out good for me because it was the same day as Tough Mudder. But so this was the first one that was like an actual mud event. 
It was a 5K, so 3.1 miles. Um, the water station was about halfway through, and I just felt physically broken. Are you picking mud off of your knees? Yep. I just felt like broken. Uh, and we were only halfway. So you started off. Let's walk through. If you've never done a mud run um, or anything like that, it was a ton of fun. It was physically. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It was physically demanding, but uh, it was tons of fun. So we started in the nine o'clock wave and we started like right at about nine o'clock. Um, at first there was the kind of like a mud pit that you had to run through. So like really your shoes just got a little muddy. If that, like, it, I don't even think it came up to like my ankles. So that was like easy peasy. And then there was like some like steep hills, uh, that you would have to like, <clears throat> like run, run and then like run up or like jump up. And that was hard, but. We did them. And then uh, I just took my time. Our, our uh, We ended up finishing. When we finished, I asked one of the paramedics, kind of. Uh, we got our bottle of water. I got an orange slice. Like, I rinsed my hands off a little so I could get an orange slice. And then we were looking for how to get off the track. And I asked one of the paramedics what time it was. And it was exactly 11 o'clock. So we finished in just under two hours. And I took my time. Um, there was some obstacles that I didn't know if I'd be able to do or not, but I tried my best. Um, and I surprised myself with a few. So there was one, uh, where like you had to jump over a wall. What would you say? Like four and a half, five feet, probably like four and a half, five foot tall wall that you had to like jump over. And so Jean, taller than that. No, because they weren't as tall as me. Yeah. I'm 5'8". Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And that you, you third could, one was the tallest. Yeah, you could see over them. You could see over them. Yeah. I'm going to say like four and a half feet. Mm -hmm. So Jean boosted me up and I was able to crawl over, like roll over them. And so you did two walls and then they had all these tires dangling and you had to like, you had to like step through tires while you were like, trying not to hit yourself in the face with oh, it's like mud <clears throat> while you're trying not to get like clobbered with tires. Um, and I did the first two walls. I didn't, I wasn't able to do the last wall. I tried it, but it was very high. Uh, then there was stuff like if you go to ruggedmaniac.com, you'd be able to see all the obstacles. I did almost all of them. I attempted all but one of them. One of them that I didn't do was um, you crawl through mud under barbed wire. And it was like the fifth mud pit. Like the fifth time that you had to crawl under the barbed wire. So that got a little old really quick. And then you had to um, climb up a ramp and then onto like a Connex box. Is that what they're called? Connex yes. boxes? And then walk across a cargo net, but like from a Connex box to like two Connex boxes. So then you had to like, but it was more like a bridge. It wasn't like climbing because I climbed a cargo net mm -hmm. and that was, uh, challenging. And then, uh, you came down, they had like these, um, frames where it was like a two by four and a couple feet and then a two by four. Uh, so kind of like. You had to, like, scale down it. And, like, right as I was going to, like, oh, maybe I'll try it, the woman up in the Connex box was like, be careful, this might not hold your weight to somebody that was already up there. And I was like, oh, hell no. I am not even going to attempt that. Jean did it. And then uh, for the big finale, oh, the tunnels. So there was this one part, you guys. Last year we did a corn maze about this time of year and I had the worst panic attack that I've ever had in my life. It was like an anxiety. I was crying. Jean was making fun of me. I think because you thought I was joking. But I was serious and it was frightening. 
because I just felt like trapped in this maze. Well, one of the early um, obstacles, they like dug out what I envision a prisoner of war camp looking like. It was like this cell that was like no wider than maybe like, like you, uh, you maybe had room just to be like this on each side of you. <coughs> you had to be like hunched over. It was a tunnel. Uh, like it was a grave is what it was. It was like a trench and you jumped down into it and you had to go through it and it was covered with like uh, plywood and you had to like crawl through it and then you had to turn and go through it and it was very much it was it was very cold because here you were uh, under the ground it was very um it was a tight fit I'm a, again I'm a big girl but it was a very tight fit you didn't really crawl through it so you were like squatting like working your way through it I felt very um claustrophobic in it like it was just not my idea of a good time you guys and so afterwards like it almost wiped me out just like from the fear and the panic of it so that was interesting they only had one time where you had to go down and in like a tube into a mud pit and then crawl out a tube and I went down the tube <clears throat> like what are those called big plastic uh, the big plastic yeah. that like you just fit so, and then I went through the mud but then I didn't crawl back out the next one I mean you know you only, you only want to hold people up so much um and then the grand finale <coughs> was uh running and jumping over fire it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be <coughs> wood smelled good it was all fresh wood yeah it was fresh wood it was Cal Fire was out there kind of being super awesome and, you know, putting more wood. It was, like, um, as wide as the course, like, the track, and they lit it on fire. So it was, like, a bonfire, but it wasn't very big. You were able to, like, run and leap over it. And then you had to run, leap, leap, and then you were finished. That's how you ended the day. Um, so it was my first event. I'm very proud of myself for how I did. You were a rock star. You were going under that barbed wire, like, boom, boom, boom. Wasn't the first time. Yeah, so Jean has done things like this <clears throat> before. It was very windy. Oh, my God. So, like, the first water obstacle you did was just um, in this very shallow, like, three-foot-deep pool. And you had to go over these uh, ropes that had, like... Um, just like plastic pipes on them so like maybe like five inch pipes and it was very easy to just like go over them I think you were supposed to go under them but and then you got out and it was windy like the Santa Ana winds were coming through and it was just a dust bowl up there and it was in Lake Elsinore California and so um oh it was just very like cold and then you got to one we were on a platform and you had to jump down into like three feet of water um, and it was like freezing. I mean, it was absolutely freezing. So, uh, we're doing the Tough Mudder next week. So that was next week, next month in about five weeks. So that was good, like practice for it. And then we just took some gallons of water and, uh, like dumped it on our arms to like rinse our arms off. And, um, they have change tents where you can change. So that was really good. Um, but so... <clears throat> The biggest thing I learned today, and I guess the lesson for my health, wellness, and food, uh, 31 days of vlogging, would be to challenge yourself. Um, I wa We walked almost the whole time. Like, we didn't run from obstacle to obstacle. Uh, <clears throat> but, like, I never in a million years would have thought that I would have been able to climb, you know, 15 feet, like an A-frame, 15 feet. Uh, on a cargo net, that was easily 15 feet. It was more, the highest one was about 20, the, the high, high one was about 25, 30 yeah. feet. Yeah, so, I never thought I would be able to, and 
there was one where it was like you had to um, reach a two by four and step on a two by four and they were probably like three feet apart and you had to like climb them kind of and uh, I never in a million years thought that I would be able to do that and I tried it and I did and I think I did pretty good and then there was one that was really frightening it was a flat wall and it had two uh, kind of like uh, probably like four by fours sticking out of it just enough for you to get your foot like sideways and grip it and then and you had to climb it so it was like a step a step the top of the wall and that was really scary uh, like you don't really think about it when you're at the bottom and then you get to the top and it's kind of like oh my god well, how, like how am I going to get back down and if I fall what am I gonna break by falling back down off of this um, so it was just really intense the best one was the water slide so like no lie you climb up was it a cargo net what did we climb up no it was a you know, oh one of those a frames of the two by four so you climb up to the top of this water slide and um, there was a professional photographer at the bottom so hopefully you got a good picture for us I'll put on the blog I'll look this week and I'll be able to come back and link it um, and you're like okay yeah it's a slide like no big deal I think I had a wedgie up to my neck by the time I was done with it like you go down it it was like a black tarp on a mud hill and you just like go down so quick and then like I don't even know if there was like a pool of water at the bottom that was maybe only like two feet deep I don't even know if I went into the water like I swear I think I just slid and like coasted across the water it was crazy I held my nose you didn't tell them about you people yeah. like when you talk yeah it went all the way up my nose and it hurt <laughs> yeah so like even the easy obstacles like that you think are gonna be easy wow like they are like tricky because you don't expect it from like a water slide um, but it was really fun it was a good day good morning we are you guys at 17 minutes uh, I'm ready to go home and shower down so thanks for spending about 18 minutes of your day with us today um, if you're new and looking forward to more of our shenanigans, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Uh, I'll try to get Jean to be more chatty. Is that you? You're like, I'm not going to be chatty. I think people like it, though. I'm ready. I just feel physically broken. I'm ready to just go home, shower, and sleep. Uh, so thanks for sharing some of your day with us, friends. I'll see you. We'll both be back tomorrow. Um, for our next topic. Thanks. Have a great day.